You gotta learn how to say no in order to get important things done. Now, this video may sound a little bit counterintuitive, right? You may be thinking, why would I say no? I mean, I've been taught that I have to say yes to opportunities. And look, it's true to some extent, especially when you're getting started, right? You don't have these many opportunities. So whenever some opportunity shows up, you just gotta push it to the next level and say, yes, I'm gonna do it. Yes, I'm gonna jump on board on that project. Yes, I'm gonna do this or that. It's important to embrace all of those. But then as you go along, as you're getting more experience and more success, you'll have more and more opportunities. And it's easy to fall into this trap of saying yes to everything. And if you actually say yes to everything, then suddenly you have no space left for things that truly matter in terms of your time, in terms of the energy you have, in terms of your attention. And that's often one of the most important things, right? So imagine a situation that you walk into some type of, I don't know, some, some wine tasting event. And you walk in and there's this huge bar with like all types of wine from all over the world. And you get a big glass and you just take the first wine without checking exactly what it is and you pour the full glass. This doesn't really make that much sense, right? Because you pour the full glass, your glass is full and there's no way for you to try other wines now, right? You gotta first empty this glass to try anything else. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes it's better not to say yes to everything just because on the outside it seems appealing. But when you get to the point of your life when you are getting many opportunities, it makes sense to ponder a little bit and consider and actually learn how to say no to certain things that are not a hell yes. Now, by the way, this hell yes, hell no thing, I got it from Derek Sivers. He's the founder of the CD Baby, a uh, really interesting guy, check him out. So he always says that when you're making a tough decision, you just gotta ask yourself, is it a hell yes? And if it's not a hell yes, it's simply a hell no. So he lives his life with this mindset and it actually helps him and many other entrepreneurs because very often by saying no to one opportunity, that creates a different, much bigger opportunity because you have more space, you have more time, you have more freedom, you have more attention to recognize that bigger opportunity. One more thing I would like to add to this video is that you should avoid being a maybe person. So, you know, one of those people where whenever somebody asks you, hey, would you like to join us for lunch or for dinner or there's this party going on next weekend, will you come? The response is always, you know what? Ah, yeah, I'm not sure, maybe. I'll let you know. Now, when you are that maybe person, then what happens is first of all, you are wasting the other person's time and energy because they actually don't know whether it's a yes or whether it's a no. And mostly deep inside, you already know that it's a no, but you're simply afraid to say it, right? But also in your head, you are wasting a lot of time and attention because now you committed to making a decision. So now you're thinking about it overly and you're pondering and you're trying to find the best way to say no and it takes so much of your time. Instead, commit to say no when you really mean it, right? So again, that example, when somebody asks you, hey, we are having this dinner next uh, next Friday, would you like to join? If you know that you don't want to join or you can't for whatever re reason, just say, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna be so busy. Let's assume it's a no, unless I let you know in a few days. But but as of now, it's a no, I cannot join. And this way, you know, it's it's still polite, but you remove that thing out of your head. You don't have to think about it overly. That person knows that it is a no, so they can plan accordingly. The life is easier for everyone. Ah, by the way, one more thing. Uh, only truly confident and successful people can afford to say no. I mean, when you really think about it, most people are afraid to say no. And this is one of those traits of leaders, of high-level entrepreneurs, of business owners, of people who have accomplished something. It's one of the, their traits to be able to you know, have that courage to say no when they actually mean it.